Hi, I'm Matt Fitz with Fahrenheit Technologies. This is part two of our full system clean out demonstration. We're going to be covering the upper exhaust assembly. First, start out by ensuring your main power supply is disconnected. Next, removing your large maintenance cover on the right hand side of the machine, followed by removing your upper exhaust assembly maintenance cover. Ensure your gasket does not have any rips or tears. Remove your reducer plate by sliding it up and to the left. Scrape this off with your putty knife. Next, using a one inch wide chisel, place the tip of the chisel in between the impeller blades, scraping off any debris that collects between the blades and the back of the housing. Also making sure you scrape in between these two screw points as the more of the buildup, the less heat transfer to your proof of flame sensor. Next, utilizing a wire brush, carefully graze the surface of the impeller blades, making sure you do not tweak them as that will reduce your overall amount of airflow, which could in turn affect your overall efficiency. Next, utilizing wire brush, chisel, putty knife, Scrape out any debris that collects on the inside of the impeller blade housing, as well as the upper exhaust flange, making sure you get down inside of that little elbow. Reinstalling your reducer plate, make sure you slide it down and to the right, ensuring there's no gap on that right hand side. Reinstall your cover plate, ensuring your gasket gets a good compression seal. Finish up this area by vacuuming out any debris that falls in this lower channel underneath the upper exhaust manifold, as just on the other side of this blower shroud is our room air blower. Any debris left behind could potentially get sucked through the blower, through the furnace, and potentially in your ductwork system. Once your exhaust blower system is all cleaned out, finish up by cleaning up your exhaust piping, uh, recommended at least once a month to ensure proper airflow going to the rest of the machine. Should you need any replacement parts, go ahead and contact your local dealer or contact Fahrenheit at FahrenheitTech.com through the contact link. Thank you for watching.